Y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Young Guru, a.k.a. The Beast, a.k.a. Hank McCoy. We are here right now, DJ Booth, outside the booth. Y'all know what it is. Let's check them each and every time. Let's go. Wow. All right, Jacques Morel, Young Guru, DJ Booth TV, at Grammy U. Absolutely. We're at the wonderful NYU, and I just found out that you have four kids. Absolutely. That is awesome. That's news. I mean, I, I, it, may, it may be news. To me, it's news. You're a young guy. I wouldn't expect you to have I'm four kids. I'm 39 years old. You know? <laughs> um, so can you tell me about the message that you have here today, um, essentially yeah. the kids that are pretty much my peers? Absolutely. Um, I mean, with the era of the engineers, basically highlighting, showcasing um, my history as well as other engineers, mm -hmm. um, just to shine light on what the engineer does. A lot of times I get questions as to what does the engineer do. Yeah. Um, and really just focusing not only on just the whole of engineering but on those specific things that are like specific to hip-hop and yeah. urban music as well um, just because that story has really never been fleshed out like so super properly so you know for me that that's the whole point is to is to, to really make flesh it out yeah make sure that people really understand where we came from but mm -hmm. putting it in the context of all engineers found this real dope small studio in Rockville Maryland called Omega Report Studios very small but it had all the major boards and all the major formats so I decided to go there, walked in there the first day, the light just clicked. And I was like, wow, this is what I'm really supposed to be doing. Dude gave me the book, read the book in like a week. Um, like I'm coming back the next session on like chapter nine and they're still on chapter one, right? The people in my class are like hobbyists. I'm like, nah, I have a daughter. This is the way my daughter's about to eat. And I'm about to be super nice at this, right? Most of the things that I try to do in my life, I try, and, and this is not a competition with anybody else, it's a competition with myself. So today is very do it yourself. Yes. You know, that's very popular nowadays. Absolutely. And you went to Omega uh, mm -hmm. back in 96. You said it was the best decision you ever made. Oh, absolutely. That's now, a great school. Would you um, say for a kid to do this, to make that same decision, even for a producer, to try to be a producer, an engineer, to make that same decision? Well, or should um, they focus on a lot of times themselves? producers make the mistake of, of going to an engineering school because there is no producer school, right? Mm -hmm. So there's no school that can teach you how to make a hit record. What they can yeah. do is teach you how to sonically make your record sound as good as something that's um, on a professional level. Yeah. So even if you're not an engineer, it's good for the producer to go there if he has the mind state that he's going to learn about yeah. production. Um, but sometimes people go there just not knowing really what to do. So, you know, it's great to know the background of the area that you're working in. Yeah, so, course, so even if you're course. not just an engineer, going to an engineering school for a producer is a great idea just because it gives them all the, uh, all the tools that are necessary to, to put it at a professional level. You're a practitioner of audio, right? There's a huge difference in those two things. Um, the practitioner of audio looks at anywhere that there's audio as a job. Meaning, a lot of engineers get out of engineering school and they're like, oh, I didn't get the, the dope session the first couple months out. But I'm like, okay, the little thing at McDonald's needs to be fixed. That's audio. The girl got to talk to you. <clears throat> Somebody gets a check for that. Somebody sets up the audio in here. Somebody sets up the audio on a station, in a uh, stadium. All of that is money. That was the attitude we had. So anywhere that there was audio, I was getting it, right? Besides just trying to record sessions. So tell me about your, the importance you have on mm -hmm. learning your equipment. What is your like your idea? Uh, I mean, that's, that's primary. Equipment? That's that's the that's the stepping stone. You can't even have a mm -hmm. conversation about strategy until you learn, you know, exactly what to do with the equipment. So it's it's just about study, about being hands on. Um, mastering certain equipment i think that that's sort of missing nowadays yeah. because people have such access to so many plugins and the way they can put it in yeah, yeah they it's just easier they just yeah just play with a couple for a minute but never really master the whole thing so mm -hmm. you know getting a mastery of one or two pieces to me is better than just messing with a whole bunch of stuff like and you know you master something then you move on mm. so in terms of you all you said once another thing you said you got to be nicer than the technology. Oh yeah. So yeah. how are you planning on keeping yeah. up with your new headphones that are coming out you're working on? Yeah. Well, I know the, well, you say in the studios you like to keep an NS10, which is not necessarily a good speaker. Right. But are you gonna? That's really the focus of the headphones. Is um, other headphones that are out there yeah. looked at the playing field and said, okay, well MP3s take away something from the music. Let us put an EQ on our headphone to 
give back to the music. Mine is, is not that focused. Mine is for the studio use or for people to mix records in. Like you said, a lot of people are making records in their bedroom, which yeah. is sort of the worst place to record or to make music. So the headphones are there for you to be able to uh, get the real feel of being in a studio. So are these headphones directly geared to engineers or is it just for they're, other they're for anybody can use them? Anybody can use them, but at the end of the day, it's just a great thing for engineers to have a pair of headphones that, um, or, or just the hobbyist or a person that's just sitting in there to have a great pair of headphones so that they can know what the studio sounds like. Yeah. You know, instead of having this EQ curve on there that will affect your mix, and then when you play your mix, it's not going to sound the same yeah. outside of it. So you want sort of a, a frequency response that's going to lend itself gotcha. to mixing a record. That's the whole purpose behind a headphone. And then, you know, that's why people will look and say, oh, well, you're coming out with headphones. Everybody has headphones. But, but that's the focus. The focus, focus is to keep it that way. And you are an engineer, and, and yeah, headphones, absolutely. if you really think about it, are more, most important to you. Right. You know? So that's why I took a lot of time, went through a bunch of drivers, went yeah. through a bunch of different material. That's why there's not a whole bunch of logos on there. Because yeah. it's really supposed to be looked at as a, a piece of studio equipment. Well, uh, Jacques Morel, DJ Booth TV, uh, Young Guru, you're about to see some clips of him speaking. So Absolutely. Check it out. Um, in an interview, uh, you had stated uh, you referred to Jay-Z as your client. And of course, it's what he is. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people seem to get it misconstrued. Can you speak to making friends through business and not business with friends? Well, I mean, it's, it's a couple of things. One, you never lose sight that that's your boss. You know, it gets real easy because he's a real cool dude, right? But I never lose sight that that's my boss, right? He's the boss of the whole thing. So I look at it as a complete blessing because of the fact that it's not IBM. If you work at IBM, you probably can't even tell your boss your opinion. You just get told what to do and you do it. I at least can give my opinion. But this is part of being in a unit, is that sometimes people can't take the direction. It's a huge blessing of living in New York City, right? You try to tell me you can't find somebody fresh to do your website in New York City like there's a problem, right? If you can't come to NYU and get a film student to do your video to look halfway decent, that's a problem. 